is solo mining better than pool mining? That's what I've been testing. Whether it's Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency that's mineable, you could be mining them in a mining pool, which is a collective force of miners, much like you, other people with all their devices, working together to mine Bitcoin or other cryptos and then splitting the rewards, right? Or you could cut out the middleman because essentially every mining pool takes a fee. Some of these fees are actually pretty high, as high as 4%. That is a lot, but they do offer a unique service and many people do not have the time, interest, or skills to set up their own node to be solo mining, which is where mining pools will give you a solo mining option. You mine, if you hit a block, you get all the rewards, but they, still take a fee. Which was more profitable though, right? If I wanna earn the most, should I be solo mining even if my earnings are irregular? Is that even possible with a massive coin like Bitcoin? Well, that's what we're gonna dig into today. I'm Boss here on the Boss Coin YouTube channel. We talk about everything crypto here and I work very hard to build out my own mining farm. You can still solo mine anything, including Bitcoin. Of course, Bitcoin will be the most difficult. It's the most difficult to pool mine, which means it's the most difficult to solo mine. In the mining industry, there's so much money to be made in new coins. Bitcoin alone is putting out over $33 million in coins per day to miners. You look at Doge, it's merge mine with Litecoin, another $2 million. Caspa, a $1.5 million daily emission cryptocurrency. And they have a bunch of other altcoins that are putting out $75,000 or more or less. And there are some mineable coins here that aren't even tracked uh, on this site. You want to earn passive income mining cryptocurrencies? Roger, roger. <laughs> I thought so. Me too. But really the first step is actually getting one of those mining rigs. That's where Coin Mining Central comes into play. They've been helping us source miners for years now. And you can save money on your order by punching in the code BOSSCOIN. Use our link down in the video description below. Let me show you my little experiment here. I've got a big presence of Nervos Network miners, uh, CKB miners. That's the Eagle Song mining algorithm. I was like, well, I know I can hit blocks. I can hit blocks with regularity with my mining footprint. So when you look at these this mining pool breakdown, this is me <laughs> right down here at the bottom. Downside is I've actually elected for a higher mining pool fee than pool mining. When we go over to the solo version of two miners mining pool, that's your boy up there at the top with about 750 terahash a second of Nervos mining power. So I am one third of this entire solo mining pool, 30 miners, 51 workers, 12 of those workers are mine. This is my mining pool dashboard. This is my information. You can see some of the recent data and results, uh, but I really wanna show you just to verify my average hash rate on these miners. You can see the average hash rate for these is essentially 63 and a half terahash per second or better. Uh, that's what we want to see. That's what we should expect. This one a little low. Some of the, these others are a little high. It's good enough. Bounced out enough. So yes, I have 12 Bitmain Antminer K7 uh, mining devices. These have essentially cost me around fifty thousand dollars. This is a big chunk of the boss coin mining farm. So this was my mining data before solo mining. Uh, there's still 25 terahash a second or so left on this pool, uh, which puts me at about 774 terahash a second. So with that, we can take off about 400 coins a day, which means that on average, we were mining almost exactly 12,000 CKB coins per day with my 12 K7 miners. How has solo mining been going though? These ASIC miners, these custom computers, these purpose-built machines that only do one thing. 
Bam. There's the data. Let's check out if I'm a lucky guy. On average, I'm an unlucky guy. Uh, so, my personal luck over the last 132 blocks, I'm basically 2% unlucky. Uh, last 64 though, 98. Uh, I'll explain a bit more about what that means, right? So, your personal luck is the statistical average that you would need to hit a block, right? So, on average, you should hit a block at 100% every time, but that's not how luck works, right? It's like flipping a coin. Statistically, you'll end up at 50% heads and 50% tails, right? Yeah, maybe. But uh, the point is, right, you should essentially even out on those blocks. But you could have insane luck one day and you could be a total loser the next day. For example, when I fired it up, I was at 142% uh, daily average luck. Terrible. That means that you could estimate I earned about 42% less than I may have made on a mining pool. Uh, then the next day, I bounce back, baby, 78%. Uh, that means that I'm hitting blocks faster than I, than I should be. And it's really interesting data. It's all over the place. I hit a block here, 11% luck. That's a very fast, very lucky. Hit a block down here, 243%. I should have hit two and a half blocks in that time frame, right? You hit a block, you get paid. That's how mining really works. So... Every time I hit a block, getting around 700 coins. Right now, let's go to USD value of $8.43. Once you hit a block, they need to mature, which means they just kind of sit there for a little while in the pool, and then it's paid out to you. So, yesterday I mined less coins than my average on the mining pool. Let's take my average over the last seven days to get a better figure. So, we could take 82,000 divided by seven, and on average, I am mining about 11,700 coins per day. That's a little bit under what I expected to be mining compared to the mining pool earnings. The coin has gone up in price some since the test started. Uh, it's not a big discrepancy, uh, but at best I'm earning about the same Realistically, I'm, I'm actually losing a little bit solo mining. It's very cool solo mining, though, to be like, I personally hit 132 blocks, right? So on average, every day, right, I hit 128 blocks for the week. So we'll take that by seven. I'm hitting 18 blocks a day. So when I look at a mining pool like Nervous Network, I mined all these coins on there over the years. I even mined on the Nervos Network incentivized test net back in what was 2018 uh, via F2 pool. Uh, I'm contributing so many blocks to this. I, you know, I have all these miners going on here for a while. Uh, you know, roughly right. We'll just say over the next year, I would mine over 6,500 blocks if things stayed relatively static. That's a huge contribution to this cryptocurrency's blockchain. Imagine if you could say, I've mined over 6,000 blocks on the Bitcoin blockchain. That'd be cool as fuck. You'd put that on your resume. But maybe you wouldn't because they think you're filthy rich. You probably wouldn't need a job if you had all those blocks. Now, would you? Well, I still need a job with 6,000 CKB blocks. I'll tell you that. Ultimately, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, to be frank, it's kind of like anticlimactic. Uh, I also don't like that you cannot set a payout amount uh, with their solo pool. So, I mean, each one of these is transaction, 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 transaction. Uh, but one of the cool aspects, right, is when you mine a block, it's not just a static block reward. It's also transaction fees, network fees associated with that block, right? So... For example, a Bitcoin block is not always a static amount. There are some Bitcoin blocks that have a bunch of extra coin thrown on top because the transaction fees goes to the miners on Bitcoin. And that can lead to some uniquely, incredibly lucrative block rewards for miners. This was a super cool and fun experiment and I felt like I had enough miners to get consistent and realistic results. Uh, but I just don't really see the point to continue solo mining here on this pool. Uh, because one due to the 1.5% fee over a 1% fee, uh, and then the earnings, they were not any better. So I will have to literally just bank on, on being lucky. 
uh, in order for this to be a good endeavor. And on average in mining, your luck eventually evens out. If anything, maybe I'll be aggressive and I'll try to hit like a lucky day or a lucky week. And then I'll jump over to a pool and go out on top. So that's the data, solo mining versus pool mining. Although you think the grass may be greener, if you don't have enough hash rate, it may not be. Uh, solo mining can also be much more like uh, lo like lottery style mining. Uh, you could set up a bunch of Bitcoin miners and mine for a year or two and never hit a Bitcoin block. But then if you did happen to defy the literal odds and hit a Bitcoin block, you're talking about something around a $200,000 block reward. And it's unlikely that you would have earned $200,000 mining in that same period with a rough estimation of however many 10 20 miners you might have deployed for bitcoin mining but keep in mind with solo mining right especially if you had that huge gap you're gonna have to account for the electricity bill the whole way you will need to have the funds to buy your miners and run them for literally years in hopes of maybe getting a block reward and if you give up at any point all of that is a sunk lost cost right just because you're unlucky doesn't mean you're going to be lucky eventually doesn't work like that but let me show you our clr our chief lucky officer we're on 10 seconds of tails in every video because she's the cutest pup in the world our resident dogecoin uh again i'm boz hope you like the content thanks for watching let me know your thoughts on solo mining versus pool mining do you want to see some more tests like this what do you think i could have done differently do you agree with the data do you think it's trash it's not a professional test I don't care, but go ahead, let me know down below. I do want to hear from you guys, at least if it's constructive criticism. Uh, there's enough hate in the world, so hey, don't, don't, don't dog on me unless you'd say it to me in person, I'm serious.